Fireflies, welcome back. Today I thought we would do a, another quick and fun little project. I just thought it would be uh, kind of fun for us to make some of these little charms. And I'll just share with you um, some of the images. This was a porch print uh, from her bee bundle. I believe this was a Tracy Fox tea card and I shrunk it down. So. Um, and then this was a uh, Tracy Fox. She had a little tiny embellishment pack at one point. So <clears throat> thinking in terms of some items that you might have that maybe you never thought about uh, being able to use for little charms. Now I'm not saying I'm going to use these, but this is an example. This is a pink Monarch Prince. Um, I purchased from her. Now this would be a great one. If this was uh, doubled up, they'd be much smaller because I don't, I mean you could do them this size, but they would be quite big charms. So you've got things like that. You've got um, another pink monarch prints. These are some words. Um, as, you, as you probably have gathered by now, I really like my little quotes and words to add, add to um, journals. So let me just share another idea. And as I said, these are these are just tea cards that, that I've shrunk down to the size that I wanted. Um, but today, this is a Artie Mays digital, and I thought we would do a few of these um, and then that will show you how to do the technique. It's really easy. The only thing you're going to need, this is diamond glaze or you can use gl uh, glossy accents, but you will need this um, in order to do it. And then the other thing, oh here's another, another one I found. This is why I've got to replenish. I'm down to um, to just a few of those left. You're going to need some cardboard. Um, you wouldn't want it really thick. I'm guessing that would be about an um, eighth of an inch. Uh, but you do want something. You can see, you just sandwich that cardboard between the image. So, first things first, let me just get this cut so that it's a bit easier to work with. And this is so easy, guys. And you may already know how to do this, but actually I'm gonna use these because I think these are so pretty, aren't they? Uh, I'm just gonna cut out two of these so that it has a front and a back because we're gonna put a little um, O-ring on it. That way it can just be attached to bulbs, bulb pins or safety pin, anything. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I am charm challenged. I tried to get into the jewelry making and bought all, you know, a good bit of supplies for it. And I just thought, oh, I don't really enjoy it. So why, 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 <laughs> why put myself through it? Um, and unfortunately, um, there's not a lot of people out there who are making these things, which absolutely baffles me because there's a, a missed opportunity. So if you are talented in uh, the jewelry making, ladies, jump on board. And um, because I'm looking for somebody to make one of the glue dangles so that I don't have to keep using these pins. Um, but I, I just, like I said, I don't have the patience for it. So there's a real gap in the market there, guys. So if you're somebody who is thinking, wow, I've just lost my job. How, how am I going to get going? Um, the market is really saturated for the junk journals, I'll tell you. Um, so I would highly recommend somebody get into making some handmade charms and dangles for the um, journals because I can tell you right now I for one would love to be able to buy some beautiful um, chunky 
dangles that I could it, it attach to my journals that I sell. It just, they look so beautiful. So all I'm doing, guys, is I am just um, gluing that on there. And then I'm going to come back and trim around. So actually, I'm going to trim this before I add the back one. And then we will even it up. So it's, it's just, you know, it's, it's a nice, quick, fun, so you don't have to stress. Um, please allow a lot of time for this to dry, and I, I would say this diamond glaze, I personally would leave it um, overnight, and then you'll have to flip it over and then do the other side. So I'm only going to be able to show you the one side, but this will get you going. Now you can go ahead and punch a little hole in this now if you wanted to before, but I think it's better afterwards, otherwise you risk the, um, the glaze filling up the hole anyways. Okay, so just so you can kind of get an idea of what's happening here. Um, now if you see that some of the paper needs to be trimmed. I would suggest doing that before you start adding the the glaze. And as I said, we're just going to be able to do one side. Um, just going to kind of flatten that down a little bit more. And you do one side, sit it over, and then once it's dry, turn it over and repeat. So this is going to take a couple of days. Um, quick in the sense that you can see how quick that was to do, but the, the, the time comes from allowing this to dry. And it may dry quicker where you're at. We're, we, we, it's just very damp here, so I just think it's better just to put these on a tray where you can just easily move them and then forget about it. In fact, let me grab something right now. Let me just go ahead and put this on here right now so I don't have to be touching this again. Now what you want to make sure, if you've never used these products before, start at the edge. See that little, let me see if I can zoom in. I want you guys to be able to see the, um, sometimes you'll get little air bubbles. You want to make sure that those you uh, don't have any air bubbles. And you can take care of that. If they don't work themselves out by doing what I'm doing, just take a little a needle, a clean needle, and uh, that will take care of that because you do not want that to dry like that. So I'm hoping I can show you up close. You see there's a couple of little bubbles right there. Let me just grab a pin. Okay, and so I'm going to just sit that to the side, and as I said, I'm going to allow about, well, I'm going to let it dry overnight. So I will just go ahead and do, I think I'll do two more. Let me zoom back out here. Um, and like I said, you can use anything, just if you've got a beautiful image. Um, just shrink it down and uh, print it and you can turn anything. You could take journal pages if you um, just want to cut out a circle with a, a journal page, that a particular spot on the journal page that you like. That's why I really love uh, doing this because it's you can just make one of a kind charms. I just think it's, it's really a beautiful little technique. 
and particularly, you know, for those of us who aren't into the jewelry making, but you still want to add something, because I like to add something on my, um, actually I'm going to move that, that's, I like to add something on my page, you know, the tabs, um, and then the spine, it's always nice to have something on the spine as well. And like I said, the, the cool thing about this is it's going to be something different rather than, you know, something that will have been bought from a shop. You can make it um, coordinate with your journal really nice. And the, um, these products are, are really reasonably priced, so it's not going to cost you a lot of money to do this, uh, and this lasts ages, so, which is another reason I want to try to get as much of this sort of thing done, because I'm not going to be able to carry all of the things that I work with <laughs> with me going forward. Uh, there, so I'm going to try, try, try to get ahead of the game. You know how it is. Best of intentions, but I'm going to try to get a good stash of these built up. Um, be nice to have it all done. Because as I said, it does take some time. Uh oh, I see this one's kind of... Uh, it's not lying flat, so it's all kind of moved down to that corner. Can't be having that. So I would say be careful of that, guys. Make sure it's on a flat surface, because see how that's lifted up slightly there? Apparently it didn't like that, so. So again, just start at the, the end and drag it across the image and then just kind of work it back and forth making sure you go all the way to the edge okay so I'm happy with those I'm just gonna let those sit to the tonight and then I'll come back tomorrow and so today I'll probably just carry on <clears throat> I might do a couple <clears throat> actually let's just go ahead and do one of these round ones here or oval I mean these are a, a bit more tedious to cut out but that's okay and then as I said once those have dried you've done the other side <clears throat> the only thing you're going to want to do then is come back with your tiny hole punch, you know, which you've got. Uh, I've got the crocodile, which has got the two sizes. So I, I just use the little one. So anything like that, um, but you want it to be small because obviously these are tiny. And then you'll need um, a little jump ring to um, put through there. And then these can just be attached to your little... Um, ball pin or whatever you choose to use and it'll make a, a really pretty little dangle. Okay, so let's just get another one done here. So you could sit at night and cut all of these out while you're watching TV and then that way the next day you could just spend several hours boy you could do a lot of these in a couple of hours and then just put them to the side and forget about it for a day or two and then come back flip them over do that and in a week my goodness you'd have a load of these done um, ready for um, your journals and then, like I said, if you want to be specific to a project that you're doing, as soon as you start that journal, maybe just make a couple that you know you're going to want. And um, sit them over there. They'll be ready by the time you get that journal complete, unless you're super quick. I mean, I am pretty slow on making my journals. 
I've seen some ladies. I'm just kind of flattening this down, guys, because it's got the corrugation. It makes it ripple a little bit. Um, I know some ladies, they, they're doing like one or two journals a day, and I don't know how they do it. I really don't. Um, well, you know, I guess if you kind of got your, you know, you've got set things that you put in every journal, it would go much quicker. But I don't really like working that way, and that's not a dig at anybody at all. Um, that's just purely me. I I like to just mix it up a bit, and particularly when you see something new, it's always fun to just say, you know what, I'm going to try that in this journal. And uh, so I think that's probably why it takes me so long to do. Oh, what am I doing? I can't add that yet. Oh yeah, I can. Duh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. I'm having a moment. <laughs> having another moment. I'm just make sure I've got those numbers on the same direction. <laughs> Funny. A senior blonde moment. That covers it all, doesn't it? Although I'm not blonde anymore. I mean, oh my gosh. Guys, I, I just, I don't even want to go out in public now because it's been like, six or seven months since I've had a haircut um, because we have a little bit of an easing of the lockdown but I couldn't get into the um, salon because <laughs> she was so backed up and of course before my appointment my appointment was due two days two days after he initiated another full-blown I'm like, oh my gosh, how long is it going to be before I get another chance? But luckily, I'll be one of the first if if they ever open up again. I don't. I'm beginning to wonder, but we won't talk about that, will we? Um. So yeah, I'm looking pretty pretty wild at the moment. My hair is just crazy, crazy. So there. Oh, I like, I do actually, I'm glad I did that, because that's, that is actually a very nice one. I've been sticking with the black, but I actually think that's super, super cool. And so, you know, as long as these are kind of the same size, I think it's going to be fun to do a couple of these, and then have a hole in it, and those will be just dangling down. So we'll go ahead and make a couple. I like the Inspire. like all of the positive words at the moment we we need as much um let me put you guys back up here a bit sorry um we need as much positive in our life as we can get oh boy don't we Yeah, I mean, I have to say for me, I was talking to my um, son the other day, and I said, really, the hardest month I've had so far was November. Um, probably because, you know, it was the end of September I got back from seeing the kids. And, um, you know, when you first get back, you've always got loads of stuff that you've got to catch up on. And then November being... Thanksgiving month, and you guys know how I love my Thanksgiving. It's my favorite, favorite holiday. That, to miss it again, <clears throat> I don't, I've lost track of how many Thanksgivings I've missed with my family now. I try not to think about it. Um, and then, of course, we knew we were going, I mean, we've never been out of lockdown, let's be honest. Um, since March. I mean, they can <clears throat> say, oh, we had an easing, but I'm telling you straight up, we ain't been on a lockdown since March of last year. So I think for me, I don't know, it just all came, kind of hit me in November pretty hard. And I just, I don't know, I really, really struggled. But December... 
I kind of gave myself a little kick in the hiney and said, okay, you know, you can either just lay here and be depressed or just get on with it. And so I put the tree up and that really lifted my spirits a lot. Um, and so that's what I did to kind of get through it, guys. Uh, everybody's got different things. Normally, the music, upbeat music, but I guess I was so far down, I needed more than just happy music. Okay, I've got the front side. Let's get the back one on, and then we'll trim it up if it needs. Just make sure you try to get that glue all the way to the edge so that it doesn't uh, pull that up when you add that glossy accents. Would you, I guess I'd probably want them the same direction, I suppose you would. So yeah, you know, it's, let me know how you guys are coping and, you know, if you've got any tips for the rest of us, gosh, we'd love to know. I stopped pretty much, I mean, I still stay informed, but I've stopped the uh, steady feed of, um, news as well. That's that's helped some. I mean, I still, every day, I, I've got a couple of reliable people I listen to. Um, but outside of that, I'm really just, I really don't care what they've got to say at this point. I just, I just can't listen to it, I'll be honest. Okay, yep, there we go. I'm going to get that one done, that's that's going to be really cute, especially if I had a dangle with all three of those. How cute would that be? So yeah, by going <clears throat> back and forth like this, you reduce the air bubbles that are uh, that will try to form in it. Okay. There she goes. All right, guys. It's that quick. It's that easy. Just like I said, a little bit of time for drying, but how rewarding when you get these done. You've got them in your stash ready to go so that when the journal is complete or whatever project that you're working on, you can just grab these. And like I said, I've dwindled my down <clears throat> to just these left now. And I had done a whole sheet of them. So um, that shows you I've used quite a lot of these in my some of the you know the journals that have went out. So I hope that's inspired you to give that a try. It's it's really quick. And again, just it's diamond glaze or the glassy accents, whichever is easier for you to pick up. Um, this was easier for me uh, to access here. Okay, guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.